Okay, I'm looking at this client's water pump. This is a vacuum actuated water pump. See right here is a vacuum port. Okay, there's the, that's the vacuum port. And I'll show you the other end, but anyway, the engine supplies vacuum here and this, this metal collar right here extends and blocks the impellers from turning coolant. Therefore, the engine will warm up quicker. But what happens is you neglect your coolant, or in this case, it looks like they may have mixed coolant because it was orange and this calls for a pink. I don't know if there's a difference, but it wasn't with factory. And you can see all this little stuff right here. That, that, that's hard, that's like little rocks. It's, it's like calcified corrosion almost. They're just dirt from over the time, I don't know. Scaling maybe. But you can see it's all around this piece. And it looks like most of it kind of sells right here in this little, this little trough maybe. But I've been filling with it and it only comes up halfway. So I think what happens is see this, this black O-ring is the seal. It's like a turtleneck, man. This thing comes up and the seal will follow with it. It'll go up and down. Little turtle head poking out. Yeah, you look, look at all that trash in there. You know that damage that seal going up and down with this trash on there. Maintenance, fellas, in this van, it's got 100,000 miles on it, it does. It's older, though. And another thing, I don't know if this is just an imbalanced water pump, it's not perfect, but you see the pulley? Look, it's not even anywhere there. It's almost as if this pump is a little off code, is a little off center. It's got a little wobble to it, right? Because why is it no, I mean, this turns, right? So that belt is only on, is on there every, all the time turning it, but really hard right here. And it looked like it had been, had some, look. Look, oh, nasty. Yeah, this thing is definitely, honestly, Mercedes, this is, this is one of the better ideas you've ever had. So yeah, that's the water pump there. You know, Volkswagens have this too. I remember looking it up on Google for the parts and I seen them have them. Let's see inside here if we can't see any material. Yeah, it does look like it's been wearing a little, it's got a little wear right here. That's that damn circle. It extends out and gets on there and it, it's almost like it's scraping some of this metal off. See, and then there's, there's that vacuum hole right there. That's the vacuum port. And this is the hose for it. It goes through this block. And look, I bet you if we look in here. See, I cleaned it a little bit, but you can see down in there, there's almost, you can see that little residue. But I've cleaned it by now. I cleaned it with some WD-40. That's all it takes. It just so WD-40's in here right now, you know, water displacement, and it cleans it out. So now when I go back with this water pump, it is very important that you blow this hole out. Because there's coolant all in here and you'll suck it right back into where you just sucked it out. So yeah, I got to clean out these. I just clean out these lines. Um, and some people are like, well, don't fucking clean it. Who cares? Big deal. It's fine. No, you got to clean them so the next guy that comes along doesn't see it in there and say, oh, you go to water pump. We're going to... When it could just be one of these. So... Yeah, I guess all that trash we saw came from somewhere, but that's definitely orange coolant. That is not pink. By any means, is that pink? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of flush this thing out a little bit. Yep, I think so. All right, guys.